Oh my goodness, we had a glitch. Like as soon as we get started, we had a glitch. Hello guys, welcome. This is Dixie Bell's uh, main Facebook page and my name is Tracy. I am of Tracy's Fancy and I am here live today in place of Solly Joe, I'm helping Solly Joe out. Um, don't be confused if you get here and it's me. It's not Whimsical Wednesday. It's not Wednesday night. It is Thursday morning right here, bright and early, 8 o'clock uh, Central Time. I am in San Antonio, Texas, and I have to be honest with y'all and tell you, hi, Sherry. Are you surprised? Um, I had to. I uh, have to be honest and tell you this is probably the earliest I've ever painted unless I was teaching at the Dixie Bell workshops. I've never painted this early in the morning. It's eight o'clock in the morning here. I've not even had coffee yet today, so I hope I can make sense. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, Christy. Hi, Gwen. You guys, please say hello when you come on. Um, this is not my normal time slot at all. Sully is under the weather. She's actually had COVID for over a week now. You really have probably not seen her live on any, uh, any venue at all. Um, she's been resting. I talk to her almost every day. She's feeling much better. She is on the mend. She actually has gone into the office yesterday for a little bit, but she's still just really weak and not feeling very well. So, um, y'all think about her and lift her up in your prayer. If you're a prayer warrior and that she gets well really, really fast and, um, back to our live videos because we miss her. We miss her. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, Deborah. Thank y'all for being here today. So, um, hi, Debbie. Um, oh, I like your name, Radonia. Oh, like that. Good morning. So again, my name is Tracy, and I uh, my business on Facebook and Instagram, YouTube, wherever you want to look, is Tracy's Fancy. If you don't follow me, I would love you for to uh, have you guys just tap my name in the description and head on over there and give me a like and a follow as well. Um, and I appreciate Dixie Bell letting me fill in for Sully this morning. I don't know if we are going to have. Dixie Bell in the background answering questions while I talk. I'm not sure if we're going to have that person there for us this morning like I do at night um, since I'm a fill-in, but um, that's okay. We got this. We'll do this together. Good morning, Pat. Thank you for being here this morning, hun. Hi, Juana. Hello there. Um, Diane, you as well. Okay, guys, so I'm in the same clothes as I was last night. I did two live videos last night. I was in the same clothes. I stepped out of them, went to sleep, got back in my clothes, and here I am again. So I am working on also the same piece of furniture because I planned on adding molds to this. So it was the perfect timing to get on here and do that with you guys. Let me tell you what I've done here. This is a, um, just a typical French provincial woman's executive desk. Some people might call it a vanity, but it's actually a desk. It's quite large in size. And um, it's got the cabriolet legs that you can see, the large knee hole, and it's a desk. So I am working on that this morning. Um, we did some painting on it last night, some crazy painting on this one side. The other side is not as crazy, but this is the plan. I am still in a multi-layering process with a, with all the Dixie Belle bright colors, like every single one of the bright, color, bright colors. Hey, Pamela. Oh, Pam. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Good to see you on here, early bird. Early bird. You know you don't normally see me at 8 o'clock in the morning, right? Hi, Melody from North Carolina. Thank you guys for telling us where you're tuning in from. If you're new to Dixie Bell Paint, if you have just scrolled by and you're like, what is this woman doing? I am painting with Dixie Bell Paint. This is one of the colors right here we're using. I'm using amethyst, which is a purple. Actually, I made most of my own purple. Um, I made a lot of this purple that's on here, actually most of it, um, using uh, peony, or as I say, peony, which is their brightest pink and cobalt blue, which is a jewel tone blue. Um, if you mix these on your piece or in a bowl, you get purple. So a lot of this um, is mixed paint that I used. Um, we're pulling in some light pinks and some uh, greens and some teals and even a flamingo color, which is like a really pretty coral color. So anyway, I'm, I'm layering. And before I get too far into the perfection of the layering, I want to get my molds on there, which I could have done them before I even got started, but um, I didn't. But I'm going to put them on now. Uh, and the reason I want to do that is because I kind of want to blend them into that and then use them to highlight. So I'll be using the new Gold Moose. I will be using the new Gold Moose. Um, this is the Gemstone Moose and Golden Gem. I call it Gold Moose. <clears throat> hey, Leona. So this here is what's gonna go on the mold. So let me show you what was on this desk to begin with. It was this little lock 
fake lock thing right here. Now, if I had the Dixie Belle mold that looks like a keyhole, I would use that. <clears throat> Excuse me, I would use that, but I am not Sully. I do not have a plethora of molds at my whim, right? So I'm gonna use what I can. So this was right here. It's very traditional and it's not big enough. It's not big enough for me to get, I don't, I'm not going to get excited about highlighting this one little piece on the entire thing. There's nothing else to highlight, right? So I'm not really excited about that. Molds offer you the opportunity to add a lot of highlighting and depth and uh, visual interest because they give texture um, to your piece. So here are the molds that I'm going to use. All right, these are very, very popular. I use these on my gumball machines. I've used them on almost every gumball machine that you've seen. Um, these are, I'm going to use three of them, but would you look at this one? What's different about this one? Put, I feel like Sesame Street. Which one doesn't belong? Or how's that song go? One of these things doesn't belong. Hi, Michelle. Good morning. Oh my gosh. I love seeing you guys on here. Y'all were on late with me last night and on early again this morning. All right. This one is broken. I did not do this. It broke. It, it just broke. So that happens sometimes, right? No big deal. What broke off of it was actually these little leaf portions, which I used on another piece of furniture. I do not get rid of any broken pieces because I use them all somewhere along the way. So if you've got any wood you bins and you've had any broken pieces, you can repair them super easily. It's not difficult at all. You just heat them up, get them soft, put some glue on it, press it back together, let it get hard, cold and hard again, and it just dries. Um, back in one piece. Right, it's shorter. It's been broken. The leaf, this little end leaf came off. So I used that leaf on something else, so I don't have, I don't have it. But I thought it's the perfect size to go here or to go here. Now remember, I will paint this, once I get this on with you guys, I'm gonna put some paint on it and start blending it into this look right here. But it's much larger than this wimpy little thing that was on there. I mean, it doesn't even compare. That little thing is barely the size of the center piece. So this gives me a lot more mold to paint and get some shadows and black wax around and put some gold on top of, right? A lot better. So can y'all help me decide? I know that there's a lag here, but can y'all, I need to sneeze, excuse me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Goodness. One more. I think there's one more. It's the morning sneeze. Hold on. Nope, we're good. We're good. I need y'all to help me decide up or down. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, what do you think? Up or down? I can't, I really honestly cannot decide. Up or down, what you think? Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Ruth. Hi, Ruth. All right, y'all tell me, up or down? I'm going to wait for the lag time to go away. I think I kind of like up. This is, I'm considering this down. This little shell thing is pointing down. Up, Michaela says up. I think I like up as well. This looks like a frown. Does that look like a frown? Millie says up as well. Up, okay, Sophia, okay, We. I think up is good. I think up is happy, right? Up looks happier. Okay, we're going up. All right, so we're gonna do that. Now, let me also show you where I'm gonna put these other two pieces, all right? Two more that look just like that one, but a little bit longer, but I'm gonna cut these, all right? So, oh, Sandra says down. You are you are outvoted, my love. <laughs> it really could have been either, but I think you got outvoted. Okay, so let me show you. Over here, oh no, we got a lot of downs coming in. All right, so this area right here, which I love, but it's just carved into the piece and there's really no raised, can y'all see this good? There is no raised texture here at all. It would be very difficult to highlight this unless I went in and hand painted it, which is fine, I can do that, but it's still just flat. It's very, very flat. It doesn't have the texture that I want and especially if I'm gonna be adding this piece up there to the top. So what I thought is, I had some scrolls, but they didn't really cover this very well. And I don't care that it's not covered completely. A lot of people would want to put like wood filler on here, which is great. You can use Dixie Bell mud. You can use Dixie Bell mud and fill that in. Just rub it flat over it and then sand it back flat. You could do that. Or you could also do this. And this would cover it almost completely. Actually, I was going to cut it, but I think I might curve that around the bin. Um, this covers that. 
and I can wrap, I thought I would cut it. I actually thought I would cut it right here at the end and leave it like that. Or should I wrap it? I think I might wrap it, you guys. I think I might wrap it around. I like when it wraps around the corner. And all it's gonna do is give me this extra leaf to use later, and I really don't even need that. So I think I might, well, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it. So let's do that. You wanna do that together, okay? Let's go ahead, um, all you have to have is some wood glue, which I've been saying now for several uh, days that I'm out of my tight bond, but I, so I'm using my uh, Gorilla Glue, which is not my favorite. And I need to get the end of this cut out here, I think, hold on, danger zone here. This did not get wiped off after the last time I used it, which would have been on a live video as well. Okay, so I've got my heat gun right here. We're gonna heat this up, we're gonna add some glue to it, and we're gonna adhere this to the desk. Um, Y'all go ahead while I'm heating this up, ask any questions that you might have. Do you have any questions about the paint color, paint colors that I've used or the technique that I'm using there? Um, do you have any questions about this bath mat that I'm sitting on? <laughs> I'm gonna do it on, yes, I'm gonna, I think I am gonna wrap it, who said that? Pam, I'm gonna wrap it, I'm gonna actually do it on the other side as well. So one on each side. Um, I do like to show the wrap. That was not my intention. My intention was to cut it. I think I am going to wrap it. So if y'all watch Sully every Thursday morning, um, she's obviously here doing Would You Bend every time. I don't use Would You Bend on every single uh, video. I wish I could. I don't have that much Would You Bend. I wish I, I wish I was using Would You Bend every single time. I love this product. I am one of the few people, one of the few ambassadors that does not, I don't enjoy making my molds. What is the deal? I don't enjoy uh, making them. I mean, I will. What? What? Why? Let me take this lid off. We may not be doing anything. Hold on. Hold, please. I'll put this up here so y'all can watch my face while I'm struggling. Who would have thought to have to check your glue bottle before you get started, you know? But we got it. We got it. Let's see. All right, it's coming out now. <laughs> Someone's calling me a hoot. I'm a hoot. Um, okay, here we go, there we go, there we go. All right, it's still warm enough. It's, well, let me, let me, I'll zap it again in a second. So the, the thing about Type Bond is Type Bond works really quickly. Gorilla Glue also tends to swell a little bit, and I don't like that, um, but it's been working fine. But I just need to remember to get some Type Bond. And, all right, let's bring you up here. It's a little, it cooled off a little more than I like, but I think we're gonna be good, and I'm gonna, Nope, I'm gonna have to heat that up really well. I'm gonna have to heat that before I bend it. Now, I could have force bent that, but what would happen is, I'm gonna move that over a little bit. If I force bent it, I might get like a, um, a tear. It, it wouldn't have cracked. I don't think it was still soft enough that it wouldn't have cracked, but the wood bend will actually, it'll do like a tear. Um, so if I heat it up really well right here, I can wrap it around it. If you heat it up long enough, it becomes like putty in your hands and it will literally do whatever you want it to do. So I'm gonna heat this here. You really do, I'm sure Sully tells you this, you have to heat it up after you've put it on the piece and that's when you get your final and then do a really good press, that's when you get your final adherence. So now I'm gonna heat this other side and I'm gonna bend it around. There we go. I was able to take it straight around and didn't get a tear. It just stretched right around. Okay. 
And hold that in place. So that's going to add a little bit of visual interest down here at the bottom where they had tried to do that with the carving and it just wasn't enough for me. And when I finish this piece, in order to richen up all of these really bold, crazy colors, I'll be using a lot of black wax. And I always love to use black wax or the dark brown wax or some sort of dark paint wash around my molds so that it sort of settles in all the cracks and crevices and gives it a natural shine. Another product that works around your molds really well is Dixie Dirt. If you use it when um, you finish top coating and you put your clear top coat on and then you add a little bit of Dixie Dirt to it, you can do it with clear wax as well. Um, you can even use Dixie Dirt when your paint is wet. Uh, the grunge especially does really well. So I'm gonna heat this one more time over here. I'm gonna heat the whole thing one more time and give it a good, a good final press. And then we'll get that center mold on and that'll give you guys an idea what this is gonna look like. Okay, what y'all think? I think that's gonna look really good. It's a nice little, nice little added touch, especially when we do the one on the top. Um, let's see, who is this? Oh, hi Sandy. Do you apply um, wax after you have clear coated the piece? Yes, how do you apply your black wax in next to the applique? So. It depends on the piece that I'm doing, Sandy. That's a good question. Um, if it is a piece that I want to have like really, really grunged out and I don't mind that it's gonna grab, the paint The paint will grab that black wax and make it like super dark and super black. So if that's the case, if it's one that I wanna really grunge out, I don't even uh, clear coat first. I just black wax, let it dry, and then I'll do my clear coat of choice. But usually I put a clear coat down first. I usually use satin top coat and then let that dry and then I'll do my black wax. And that, that way I'll, you have a lot of control over your black wax that way. It doesn't suck into the chalk paint and it also slides around on top of that satin top coat. It just slides around it and you can remove almost all of it if you wanted to without tinging your, your piece too black. So it just gives you a lot more control. It's a great tip for those that are beginners at wax. That way um, they don't have to be so afraid of the wax. Um, so that's that. And then how do you apply your black wax in next to the applique? Usually I use a small brush like this. So let's say that this piece is up here. Um, I will get my black wax and I'm just gonna get it down in there. And I usually use a fluffy brush like that. Do you see how fluffy that brush is? And I use that fluffy brush and I just get it all in and around there like that. Just run it up and around. And then I will take like my French tip brush, which is the long handled Dixie Belle brush and I just get in there and I start working it all around. That's how I do it, that's how I apply it. All right, I'm gonna heat this one up too, and we're gonna get this one on the middle, but someone had another question below you. I made my own molds recently using modeling material by Redesign, and it was tightly, tightly sealed, the modeling material. It feels too dry to me when using. Can you add a little water? You can, you can add a little bit of water to it, Connie. Um, that, you know, I used that for years, and yes, it, it is very dry, and it's really hard to work with, um, but you can add a little bit of water to it to use it, but I have, this thumb is bad, like this joint is uh, too many years of painting, um, and that, I, I use my thumb to press that in, and it just kills me. I just don't enjoy making my own molds. I don't, um, but yes, your answer is yes. Um, okay, so let's see. I am going to go all the way up. All right, let's get caught up. Okay, so now I'm going to do this mold right here. We decided on up, which th that makes sense because the bottom molds are, are facing up as well. So I'm just heating it up down here on the ground. If you've just popped on, I'm just heating my mold right here on my bath mat. <laughs> on my bath mat. And this one I don't have to heat up as much. It barely has to curve. It's already it's already bending bending. All right. Flip it 
over. I'm gonna apply some glue. Like I said, I actually prefer tight bond. Um, but all I have with me right now is Gorilla and it's wanting to like not come out for me. All right, so let me bring you guys back up right here. Hello there. And let's put this on right here in the middle. straight. I tell you, I have glued a lot of molds on that I didn't step back and they weren't straight. All right, so once you press it in place, get it where you want it, then you heat it up one more time. Just shoot it one more time with a little bit of heat and then give it a final press. The only thing about the heat guns is you do have to just keep them moving. And also, this is a tip that Sully taught me. Um, if you have heated the mold up and you're doing this final press, sometimes they are really, really hot. And um, uh, it's a good tip to just use this rag. Use a rag or a, a cloth or a big wad of paper towels or something like that. Um, Pam was saying something right here. Uh, I use Amazing Resin for Molds. It's the purple box. Yes, you blend the two liquids. Yes, quick and easy. I mean, it is quick and easy, and it's bendable to an extent because I've definitely used a lot of Amazing Resin as well, um, and it's definitely an option. And, you know, there's a time and a place for all of it. There is. Um, and if you enjoy making them, do what makes you happy. That's the thing is I want you to enjoy it. I just don't. It's tedious. I do, I do my mix. I stir one, you know, sometimes you'll pour and it's not right and then it hardens up instantly. And I don't know, I've just had, I've gone through a lot of boxes of the stuff and it is a great, and I love resin. I love resin. Like I love resin on furniture. I like resin on large crafts. Um, I love it, but I don't know. Something about the molds doesn't mean it's just time consuming. I don't know. It just is for me, but that's just me. And and that's okay because there are so many of the, uh, furniture artists out there that love the tediousness of making them. So, and I love that there's options. That's that's what I really love. So try it all, try it all, and see what works best for you. Hi, Christine. Okay, guys. So we've got this one on. I think it looks straight, and we've got this one on. So let's see. We've been on 30 minutes. Real quick, let me just um, let me put a little bit of paint on here. Would y'all want me to do that? Let me get a little bit of paint going on this one. I think I'm going to use some soft pink, um, a little bit of golf, a little bit of apricot, and that'll be it for now. We'll just get it covered, and um, we'll just get it covered. It's not going to match what I had already going on here, but that wasn't, I haven't perfected that yet, so I'm okay with this kind of messing up the vibe here. I'm okay with that. I really should have put them on to begin with, and I didn't. Throw a little soft pink in that. I'll go back. And also, a lot of times I paint my molds before I put them on the furniture, especially if it's on gonna be a solid color. I'll go ahead and paint them before. This looks like Jordan almonds to me. These are the colors of Jordan almonds. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna get me a little bit of green over here, a little bit of golf. This is the golf. And then I'm gonna spray this with water. All right, I'm gonna spritz this with water and use, um, we'll use one of these that I had soaking overnight. All my brushes are still out here, guys, from last night. <laughs> Actually, this is this is wet enough. Uh, <laughs> that one needs to be rinsed. This one has a lot of green and blue and purple still in it. Where's come here? There we go. 
All right, so that's a good foundation, at least for now, before I get back in here and try to fix that. But that's gonna be great. I'm gonna love it, and it's gonna get that dark wax. It's gonna get gold. It'll be amazing. Same thing with the one down on the bottom. So there we go. We are done, you guys. It did. Thank you, Tracy. It's a lot of fun. I loved coming out here bright and early. You know, before I've even had my morning coffee and looked at it, I was like, whoa, that is a ray of sunshine right there. It looks like a, a sunrise and a sunset all, all in one. So I'm really excited to keep working. I'm going to work on it some more today over on my own page. I hope you will give me a follow over there if you're not already at Tracy's Fancy. And I will be working on this some more. I'm going to be doing some stripes up underneath here, some black and white stripes. And then I'm going to be turning it around and showing you what's on the other side. And I've got some crazy, crazy ideas for my stripes on the other side. Something I've never done before. Um, I love stripes. I use them on almost everything. But I like to try to come up with new ways to use them. And I, I just have this vision. I'm not sure how it's going to work yet. But I'm going to do my best to make it happen. So... I'll be doing that over there uh, on Tracy's Fancy later today. So I hope to see you over there. Um, again, Sully, thank you for letting me be here today in your place. Um, I will talk to you later today, I'm sure. And Dixie Bell, thank you for having me this morning. Thanks to all of you guys for meeting me first thing in the morning. It's really weird. Weird for me. <laughs> I'm used to seeing y'all at night. All right, guys. Well, y'all have a wonderful Thursday, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.